Okay, people. Prius. High voltage battery failure, apparently. Um, that's what it's covered up with on the on the fault finder. So, to take your battery out, remove this panel. There's a 10 mil bolt goes in there. A couple of clips. There's another bolt that goes in there. 10 mil. Another 10 mil there. Um, this is your main cartridge. This is basically your safety device. So this clips in the side of there and it basically acts like a, a, a fuse. It basically cuts it out. So if you're gonna to touch anything here, anything that's orange has the potential to harm you or kill you. Okay, so the first thing you've got to do before you do anything, disconnect your little 12 volt battery down there and pull your big fuse out of there. So it's pretty self-explanatory how that comes out. All right, so that's in there. Now, we have a few issues with this one because ah. okay there's lots of protective shielding and plates that go on this you've got various i think there are 12 millers that go in here 12 miller in there 12 miller in there you don't have to take the rear seats out you can just take the rear seats and push them down there's my next battery that i was going to put in that i just happened to have a spare one now this this was coming up with um, the VCS and various other warning triangles on the thing. Now, the problem we've got is I've tested these cells and they're all running 8 volts, 797s, 79s. So they're all, they're all pretty good when it comes to voltage and you're doing that by just testing the ends there and the end there. So the positive and the negative. Okay, you just run your multibeat at one end to each cell and it will give you a readout. Now this is worrying because we're getting good good results on the cells. The cells aren't down. You can have as little as like 1.5 volt nothing when they go down. Now I'm not sure what the issue is. Now it could be it could be shorting out of Come on piggy. It could be shorting out or corrosion on these like this spare one I've had but this one was left in the rain so paid 20 quid for it um, and I started I started doing the voltage tests on them and these were all up to like 7 volts and um, I think one of them was really bad yeah look 1.86 volts so maybe that cell is a bit iffy but the rest this has been sat for a very long time um, so they're still holding good voltage now it could be it could be an issue could be an issue with any electronics in here.